Excuse me, long. <laughs> oh, God. Well, you will not be surprised to hear that this is the second time I'm going to try this rant because, uh, as I was just talking about 15 minutes ago before I realized there was no battery in the camera, uh, there is a reason I, well, I guess there's two reasons I never record videos when I'm stoned. One reason is I very rarely get stoned, but, uh, the other reason is for shit like this, because I, you know, I, I, I can't remember to put the fucking battery in the camera, or I can't do the, remember to put the fucking card in the camera, but anyway, I am, uh, doing, I think this is the, the second stoner, uh, video of the year, I have some vague memory of doing a video of the full moon up there in Seahorse, the last time I was stoned. So you're probably wondering, why is Hambone stoned? I'm sure that's been keeping you up all night. Why is Hambone stoned? Well, guys, uh, you remember that a young fellow, Grant Lee. I've had him on the show a couple of times. He, uh, I'm quite sure that Grant will hold the record of 2024 for the number one Humpty Dumpty Tribe video of the year. Uh, this uh, nice uh, young man who washed up here at Bugs in a Jar uh, back in May or May or June. But anyway, uh, the good news is, because I do want to have some good news, so... Grant apparently has decided he is going to stay in the Finger Lakes of New York uh, for the time being and start his new life. Start his new life. So uh, let's all welcome uh, Grant to the, his new life in the Finger Lakes. It remains to be seen whether we can get him to become a full-time doomer. So that's the good news, but... Uh, as I was just starting to say when the battery or whatever ran out a few minutes ago, I uh, got some bad news to report, and I don't think Grant would have a problem with me announcing this, that uh, Grant's cat, William, uh, has gone off into the great cat beyond today that Grant got home from work and found uh, found his beloved cat, William. Uh, and, uh, yep, and we all know what that feels like. Well, most of us know what that feels like. It's one of the worst fucking feelings in the world. His first time, he's 27 years old, and, uh, has never experienced the feeling of, of having a uh, beloved pet die. I, how do you make it to 27 without that rite of childhood passage? Good God. But uh, anyway, I am, uh, I am honored to say that uh, William the Cat is now... Uh, Buried about 200 feet, right that direction. We buried William in the garden, in the organic garden, and uh, for his final resting place. And so right now, uh, I guess William is looking at the Milky Way stretched out above him on this gorgeous... Uh, but feels like an October night, although it's the middle of August, uh, August 22nd. And uh, so William is watching the Milky Way right now. Did you realize that 80% of this planet, uh, this planet's humans anyway, uh, are unable to see the Milky Way? 80%. Four out of five people on this planet have no fucking idea 
that the Milky Way exists. They think the Milky Way is either a candy bar or something that they go to the planetarium to see. The Milky Way, really, there is a, there really is a galaxy out there, guys, that one out of five of us on the planet uh, still get to see. Probably not a lot of places uh, in New York where you can still see the Milky Way, and I guess the the remnants, the waning remnants of the uh, super blue moon will be rising here shortly. So uh, William the cat can enjoy the uh, Milky Way and the rise of the waning super blue moon over his first night of figuring out the next step. So anyway, goes without saying that uh, all of this has put me into a, a, a contemplative mood, especially getting high. So after the burial, Grant and I, we, we had a margarita and shared one of these, uh, not exactly a pipe, one of those things that looks like a big pen with the fucking button on it, whatever you call those things. So I am high as a kite, and uh, obviously what I am contemplating is, uh, you know, when I have a day like Grant is having today, and, and I have already... You know, I'm, I'm one month away from turning 65. I have gone through the, you know, the, the living hell of uh, losing how many beloved pets over the years. Just the, just the absolute horror of, uh, but... The position that I'm in now, and I and, and I've mentioned this on other rants, you, you know, and this little dog, right here, uh, heads off into the great uh, chipmunk hole in the sky. Uh, it, it, it's it's going to fucking suck. It's going to fucking suck. Uh. I have, uh, <laughs> you, you know, there's dogs and dogs. There was one dog I had, uh, Joshua, back when I was a teenager, who I was, who I was pretty damn bonded with. But uh, I have never in my life, uh, never in my life, had another living being on this planet that I was so bonded with. Uh, this is, you know, anybody uh, too hard-hearted to get a dog. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know, I'm sure you guys, if you've never heard it or uh, you just forgotten it, how I met this dog it was down in St. Croix in the in January of uh, 2016, and I, my friend and I, I, she was visiting me in Saint Croix, so we went down to the Saint to the Saint Croix dog pound, and what I wanted was a short-haired female puppy, a short-haired female puppy. It was my general vision of, of, of what I wanted. So, uh, so I called the dog pound to find out what time they exercised the puppies, where they put the puppy wing out, you know, while they cleaned the cages and stuff. So where they were supposed to let all of the little puppies out. So I was not even going to look at the adult dog. So I had no intention of looking at an adult dog, at a male dog, or a long-haired dog. And uh, so we get there. 
So they so they let all the puppies out. So all the puppies, there's probably like 20 of these puppies running around. And so I get my chair, probably look quite like this, and, and I went and sat in the back of the little puppy playground that I just went to the very back and, and we're watching the dogs interact and, uh, you know, seeing if, if I could pick out my, pick out my, uh, hopefully, uh, short-haired female puppy. And what happened, I noticed that there were these two dogs that did not appear to be puppies. They didn't appear to be puppies. They were, they were obviously full-grown. I mean, they were young dogs, but they were clearly not puppies. They were adult dogs. They looked very similar. Uh, there was one uh, that looked a lot like this one, although he weighed 7 instead of 12 pounds. And then uh, his brother, so Sancho's brother was a little bit uh, bigger than him and was the color of a red fox. So he was a badass looking dog. And, and uh, so this is, so there's all these puppies and they're these two uh, long haired male adult dogs, which weren't even supposed to be there. So I'm sitting there in the back of the, of the little puppy yard watching all of this. And then Sancho's brother sees me sitting there and he charges back and he jumps up in my lap. So I've got Sancho's brother uh, sitting in my lap, uh, you, you know, saying hi and all of this. And uh, he's a very cool dog, but it's not the fucking dog I was looking for. So anyway, he probably stays 15 or 20 seconds in my lap. And then he jumps off my lap and runs and, you know, even though he's a grown-up dog, you know, playing with the puppies and shit. Well, then guess who sees me is Sancho Panza sees me. And he goes, who the hell is that sitting in the chair? So Sancho comes uh, running across the fucking yard and he jumps in my lap. Don't you? You do that, don't you? And that was January 13th of 2016. So Sancho jumps in my lap. And uh, so he's sitting there just like this. We've known each other for 10 seconds. And whenever another, you know, and one of these puppies would come, would, would get like in the 8 or 10 feet of me, he would go, and be baring his teeth and all of this shit. <coughs> acting like a badass, telling all these other dogs, nope, I claim this guy. So anyway, uh, that's how it all started. And if you haven't heard, you know, Sancho and his brother were abandoned on the roadside to die on Christmas morning. Christmas fucking morning. That, that some cold-hearted bastard... Uh, what happened was, it was the DJ, the Christmas morning DJ, was going to work at dawn and saw this kind of, this crate off on the side of the road. So he thinks he's going to get some free watermelons or pineapples or whatever. So the DJ, on his way to his Christmas morning show, uh, went and looked in this crate and it was Sancho and his brother. And you got to understand that there is nowhere on that fucking island that takes more than 45 minutes to get to the, uh, to the dog pound. And they were, and Sancho and his brother were huddled in this crate on the side of the road. No food, no water. If the sun had come up over the mountain, they would have been dead in about 20 minutes of, uh, of heat stroke. And, uh... The sign on his cage said, Abandoned on the roadside to die. On Christmas morning. You were abandoned on the roadside to die. What do you think of that? Is that... 
you and your brother were abandoned on the roadside to die on Christmas morning by some cold-hearted son of a bitch. Weren't you? But that was that. But then, three weeks later, we met. And so, uh, good Lord, what has it been, little dog? Eight and a half years. Eight and a half years I have, uh, I have been bonded to this animal. And uh, here he is on my t-shirt. You know, I've never had a dog on a t-shirt. I have Sancho on two t-shirts. You know, I cook for this dog. Uh, <laughs> he gets home-cooked meals. Uh, he doesn't eat dog food. He eats home-cooked meals. He's on the t-shirt. Uh, but I have never in my entire life had a another one of my fellow earthlings, you know, th this dog, uh, for 20, what do you think, Sancho, 22 hours a day, 22 hours a day, this dog is within three feet of me. Is that about right? You think within three feet for 22 hours a day for eight and a half years? I have I have had more physical contact uh, with this animal uh, than any woman, in, including my late great dear sweet ex-wife. Uh, I, I have I have literally been in physical contact uh, with this little dog more than any human ever in my entire life. And uh, clearly, that will be true on the day I, I died. So this creature here, whoever this little guy is, wherever he came from, in my entire life, I, I have literally been physically bonded uh, to, to this animal. And the... The you know I I know that I that uh, I I I I have been uh, got more physical contact out of this creature than, than my own mother uh, than than my wife uh, you, you know what I'm saying and so Sancho we think is ten years old now so uh, we're probably looking. Uh, if he doesn't get eaten by an alligator or whatever. Uh, what do we got? Six years? Six years? What do you think? And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're heading into old dog stage and all that. Oh, God, the old dog stage. Never had the puppy stage with you. Never saw the little dog when he was a puppy. So, uh, you know, just, just thinking about uh, the day this dog dies. And uh, so Grant and I were talking while we were getting high. And, uh, and I'm ta talking about when Sancho dies. Uh, yes? What did you say, Bob? What did you say? No, I'm not going to die. That's not going to happen. Uh, is it just going to be a, you know, uh, is it just going to be a very quiet, private burial like we had for Grant's cat? Uh, are, uh, are, are there going to be a few close friends uh, around? Will some of Sancho's friends from up here and uh well it's assuming that you know I'm, I'm only up here half the year so there's only a 50 50 chance i'll even be here uh you know i'm, I'm thinking I, I, you know I'm, I'm trying to think what sancho's funeral will look like will it just be uh, me and him uh ha having our last uh moment together will it be a few close friends, or, or, or should we uh, build a fucking shrine to this animal? 
I'm thinking, fuck it. You know that this fucking dog deserves a shrine. What do you think that a dog? Do you think you deserve a, a shrine? You, you, you know, let's get out there and build a fucking monument to this animal. Uh, uh, an animal like this does not come along very often. <coughs> I guarantee fucking to you. There's shrines uh, built to fucking humans that, that, that don't have one half the class in their little fingernail than this dog has. So what do you think of the dog? A shrine? A yeah, Sancho Shrine or what? I don't know about the Sancho Shrine. What do you think? You think you can get a shrine or not? I don't know if I can use a shrine. I could use a shrine. Anyway, it's going to be a dark day. Sancho Ponza says, would you wrap it up, Pop? I'm ready to go to bed. And I will see you in the morning. Yes? Are you happy now? Is that... You're not in my lap anymore. You're in the bed like that. Yep, abandoned again. I have been abandoned by this little animal here. <sighs> Can you imagine how that's going to suck? Yeah, go lick your dick for your last uh, goodbye. Last thing I'll see that dog doing is licking his fucking dick. Oh, Jesus, dogs. Oh my God.